Today I'd like to do an EDC update video. EDC stands for everyday carry. It means all the items that you carry on your person or in your pockets from a day-to-day -day basis. And I like to think that everyone has an EDC, whether they call it an EDC or not. Pretty much everyone's gonna carry the following items. They're gonna have a wallet, they're gonna have the keys to their car, they're gonna have a phone, and possibly a watch. I like to consider those your core EDC items. People that are into preparedness like to expand upon those. So I've always looked at EDC as a set of tiers. You have your core items and then you expand out to multiple tiers from there. And so a lot of people that are into preparedness or preppers might include stuff beyond that core set of items such as tools. So for this video we're going to cover what my current EDC is for the past year or so. It's pretty common for your EDC to evolve over time as you obtain new gear and also as you modify the type of items that you want to carry with you on a day-to-day -day basis. And my EDC is no different. I've shown multiple versions on my channel. In the past, a lot of the EDCs that I've had have been fairly extensive where I talk about multiple layers or tiers for the different type of categories of items that I carry with me. For this particular EDC, it's a lot more streamlined. I wanted to have something that was a quick grab and go system. So especially during the summer months, you may not be wearing pants, maybe you're wearing shorts, or maybe you're changing into a different outfit really quick, and you wanna quickly put your EDC in, in there and not have to deal with the whole Batman utility belt thing where you're constantly putting all of your items in various pockets, your wallet, phone, keys, multi-tool, knife, flashlight, you name it, and it just takes a long time. I wanted something that was a lot more grab and go. So for this particular EDC, I went with a set of what I call mini modules. So what I mean by that is just like how you have your wallet and your phone, you're able to quickly grab them, put them in your pocket, and then you're on the go. I wanted a similar solution for my prepper items. So things like tools, maybe first aid items. So I came up with a set of mini modules that are basically using these little leather coin purses. And I have one for my prepper tools. I also have one for my mini medi. So for this particular video, we're gonna go through all the items of my everyday carry, starting off first with those core items and then branching out to some of the other items such as tools, first aid items, and we'll go on from there. So as always, I'm gonna go at a fairly rapid pace. So to help with that, I've included a PDF document. You can download it in the description box below. It contains a list of all the items that are gonna be covered in this video in detail. It'll show you how much they cost, why, they, why I included them, and you could also press the little hyperlink on it. It'll take you to the item if you wanna purchase it for yourself. So let's get started now with this video featuring my updated EDC or everyday carry. Let's start off first going over those core EDC items. Again, those are the items that basically everyone carries, whether they call it their EDC or not. Let's start off first with an item that everyone carries, and that's a wallet. I like to call this my EDC wallet because I carry additional supplies in it other than your identification, cash, and cards. So for the past few years, I've been using the Access Denied Men's RFID Blocking Wallet. It's a bifold leather wallet. It's a little on the expensive side, but it has that RFID blocking, which stops electronic pickpocketing of your private information. This one's approved by the U.S. government. It follows FIPS 201 security standards, and it works well for my purposes. Stored inside the wallet, I like to have a few post-it sticky notes. This is basically just spare paper to use for random notes. It's very inexpensive compared to using a write and rain notebook, for example, which I used to carry. I like having mine attached to a credit card just to help keep it flat. Stored in one of the sleeves of the wallet, I like having a wallet multi-tool. This particular one is called the Pocket Monkey 12-in-1 Wallet Multi-Tool. I've been using it for the past few years. Technically, it has a lot of different features on it. Three screwdrivers, hex wrenches, bottle opener, rulers, orange peeler, and more. What I like about it is that it's TSA compliant, it's made in the USA, and I really use it mainly for that bottle opener, which I like having on hand at all times. On the other side of that sleeve, I also like carrying some small, flat first aid items. Let's start going through those items now. The first item is just a couple band-aids for minor cuts and scrapes. I haven't been too picky on the type of band-aid, but I just like having a couple on hand. Now these band-aids will need to be replaced from time and again because they start to degrade as they're stored in your wallet for long periods of time. The next item is a small Aquacel Extra Hydrofiber Dressing. This is one of those modern wound dressings. It's going to be for slightly larger cuts than a band-aid would be able to take care of. This particular dressing is super thin and has great absorption. It almost turns into a gel-like substance that you don't have to replace that often, and when you remove it, it doesn't peel the wound. So I really like this particular one. 
I use it in conjunction with the 3M Tegaderm Transparent Film Dressing. This is a thin, waterproof, protective barrier for wounds, so basically you put on the hydrofiber dressing first, cover it with the Tegaderm, and then you're good to go for multiple days. This is the high quality stuff that you'll get at the hospital. And last, I carry a single Curad blood stop packet. This helps stop bleeding very quickly. For example, if you have a bloody nose or a scratch that's bleeding, you can put this on it and it'll help stop the bleeding as quick as possible. So a single Curad. Those are all the items that I currently carry in that access denied RFID blocking wallet. Just a small set of EDC supplies. Let's continue on. The next core EDC item is, of course, a smartphone. I prefer unlocked Android phones. I'm not going to go into too much detail regarding this particular model as I change out models about every year or so. But I will say that I always like having a case on my phone, and it's not just for protecting the phone itself. I also like storing a few additional items behind that case. The first item that I carry behind that case is some backup cash. I've settled on carrying $15 there, so a single $5 bill and a $10 bill. I used to carry a $20 bill, but there was occasions where I needed to spend it, but I didn't want to spend the whole 20 for example, for a tip for a shuttle or something like that. I'd prefer to only spend $5 or $10 or something like that. So I've settled on having a $5 and a $10 bill. Taped to the back of the phone, I also carry a SIM card tray removal pin. As I mentioned, I use unlocked Android phones if there was ever an emergency situation where my phone was damaged and I needed to use a different phone with my same phone number, I'd be able to use this pin to move the SIM card from one phone to another. The next core EDC item is your key, so the key to your car, to your home, and things like that. I like calling this my EDC keychain because I carry some additional supplies on there other than just keys. Let's go through those items now. As you guys know, I try really hard to avoid having bulky pockets of gear. I like calling it the dreaded prepper bulge. Basically, all the gear that's in your pocket just sits at the bottom of it and bulges out. So for the main item of this EDC keychain, I like having the Tech Accessories P7 keychain suspension clip. It's basically a stainless steel clip that allows the keys to hang in your pocket rather than just sit at the bottom of your pocket. And it helps keep the keys a little bit more flat. There's some knockoff versions because the Tech Accessories version is kind of expensive but you could get the knockoff version off of eBay which I've talked about in a previous video. So again this is the Tech Accessories P7 keychain suspension clip. The next item is a whistle for emergency signaling. This particular one is the Nightcore Titanium Whistle. It's a super thin whistle, has a very high frequency pitch to it, and it does a good job for my keychain. So a whistle. And the last item on the keychain is the Leatherman Bruiser. This is a bottle opener. It also has a pry tool, and you could use it as an emergency screwdriver. I mainly use it for the bottle opener. Again, I like having a bottle opener at quick access. The last core EDC item that a lot of people carry is a watch. For the past few years, I've been using the Fitbit 2, which is not only a method of telling time, but more importantly, it's a fitness monitor. So it helps keep track of how many steps I'm going on a daily basis, how many stairs I'm going up. It syncs with your phone and you're able to keep track of that. And after all, your health is probably your number one prep that you want to be well aware of. So the Fitbit 2. And that concludes all of the items that I like to call my core EDC items. They're also the items that most people carry, and that's a wallet, phone, keys, and a watch. Now that we've gone over those core EDC items, let's expand and move on to tier two, which I consider your prepper tools. So let's move on to the tools module. I've been leveraging these small leather coin wallets for my EDC tools module. It's the perfect size for what I was in need of, basically a small container that would be able to store the items flat when it's in my pocket rather than just bundling up at the bottom of the pocket. It also helps keep any items from falling out of your pocket. For example, if you have a hole in your pocket, sometimes you're prone for losing things like coins and more importantly, a pen or one of your EDC items, which is not fun to happen. So this small little module helps prevent that from occurring. The first item included is a small folding knife. This particular one is made by Case. This is the Case Doctor Patriotic Knife. I really like this particular one. It's a little on the small size, but what's most important for me is that it's not intimidating in any way if you were to use it in an office setting. For all of these years, I've been using larger folding knives that have a pocket clip for storage. But what I found is that that pocket clip alone is just kind of a dead giveaway that you have a knife on you and you might not want to have that in certain situations. It also might say that you're a prepper or that you're just a gear minded person. And I've been trying to stay under the radar as much as possible, especially in today's world. So technically, the only pocket clip that I have now is that P7 suspension clip for my keychain, and the knife remains hidden in the module. So again, it's the Case Doctor Patriotic Knife. 
The next item of my tool modules is a pen. I've actually been carrying two pens lately. That's one, because I sometimes lose my pens, and then two, every time I seem to need to use a pen, someone else needs to use one as well. This is the popular Fisher Bullet Space Pen. Highly recommended. It's an awesome pen. It stores small, it's able to expand, and you're able to write in almost any conditions. Highly recommended. Again, it's the Fisher Bullet Space Pen. The next tool has been included in every single EDC video that I've done for the past several years. It's the Leatherman Juice S2 Multi-Tool. This is my favorite multi-tool. It has so many different uses on it. It has a knife, it has scissors, it has a screwdriver, it has a bottle opener, it has pliers, you name it, it's gonna have it. It's a super compact size, it's built extremely well, and it's just highly recommended. Again, the Leatherman S2 Juice. Now I know what some of you are gonna say, hey, the blade that's on that Leatherman is basically the same size as the blade that you showed previously on the case knife. Why are you carrying two knives? Well, I like carrying two knives. On some things, I think it's good to have some level of redundancy, and knives are one of them. Even worse, you've probably noticed that I've already listed three various methods for a bottle opener thus far in this video. The Pocket Monkey, the Leatherman Bruiser, and the bottle opener that's included with the Leatherman Multi-Tool. And what can I say? I like being the fastest draw in the West for opening up an ice-cold bottled microbrew. The last item included in this tools module is a small pocket-sized flashlight. I've been using the Olight i1R EOS 130 Lumen Tiny Rechargeable LED Keychain Light. This is an awesome little EDC light. It's super small. It has a good amount of flood to it for EDC purposes. And the best thing about it, it's rechargeable using a USB micro cable. Super handy. It's so small. Why not carry this? So again, this one's made by Olight. It's the Olight i1R. The last EDC tool item isn't stored in that tools module, instead it's stored by itself in the watch pocket of my pants, and that's a Zippo lighter. It's always good to have a method for starting fire for EDC purposes. This particular one is the Zippo Diamond Plate Flag Street Chrome Pocket Lighter, and I also use the Vector Thunderbird Butane Torch Insert because you don't have to change the fuel as often with butane as you do with the normal Zippo lighter fluid. So again, it's always good to have a method for starting fire. I don't smoke or anything like that, but this thing comes in handy all the time. So again, a Zippo pocket lighter. These EDC tools fit really nicely in the small leather coin wallets, which I mentioned earlier. You have to do a little bit of Tetris, but it's almost a perfect fit. And the wallet itself is fairly nice quality. I like the leather, I like the zipper, I like the zipper pool. But to be honest, I wish I could get something even nicer made by a company like VanQuest, for example. VanQuest makes great little storage cubes, organizers, wallets, and it'd be really cool if they expanded their product line to include an EDC pocket size storage organizer that you could store EDC tools tools for this kind of purpose. Now the items that I've listed thus far aren't applicable to every single person in every single country in the world. For example, in the UK, I don't believe you could carry a blade of any kind. So that removes the Leatherman, the case knife. I don't think you could carry a butter knife, for example. I don't even think you could carry a potato peeler. So you're going to have to customize your EDC for your individual purposes and what's legal in the part of the world that you live at. As you probably noticed, I also didn't include a firearm as part of my tools module, even though firearms are legal here in the United States. I don't really cover firearms on my channel for various reasons, the main one being privacy concerns, and I also try to keep my content a little bit more universal for a worldwide audience. But hypothetically, a firearm would just be another tool that you can include with your tools module. Now let's move on to an EDC first aid kit, which I like to call my Mini Medi. For the past several years, I've been talking about these small EDC pocket-sized first aid kits, which I like to call my mini medi kit. It's basically a small first aid kit with basic supplies that you could store in your pocket. Previously, I was storing all of those items in a lock sack bag, which is basically a high quality, high durability Ziploc bag. But even with the lock sacks, over time they start to degrade, they start getting holes in them, and you might lose some of the supplies that are stored in there. So I, again, I made the switch to one of the small leather coin wallets, which don't degrade, and they still store all of the items in there. So let's start going through those items now. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go into too much detail regarding every single item that's included in the mini medi kit, just because I have a whole dedicated video on this particular topic, I'll just list the items one by one. The first items are multiple band-aids of various sizes. I also include a single 3M Cavalon no sting barrier. I also carry a few packets of triple antibiotic ointment, a sting relief pad, a single dude wipe, which comes in for hygiene purposes and also for a backup baby wipe. 
some 3M Stair Strip Reinforced Skin Closures, a Mepilex Border Light Foam Dressing, a Mepilex Border Self Adherent Absorbent Foam Dressing, some BD Alcohol Wipes, another Aquacil Extra Hydrofiber Dressing, and to go with that, a 3M Tegaderm Transparent Film Dressing. That wraps up all the items that I'm currently carrying as part of my trim down everyday carry. Now there's times that I'm also wearing a jacket or a backpack and on those occasions I'm also carrying additional gear such as a larger flashlight, my Urban EDC Altoids 10, maybe even a tourniquet. But for this video I just wanted to cover the items that I store in my pants or shorts pockets and again I wanted to focus on the items that were quick grab and go using those mini modules. Really quickly, let's go over where I store all of the items. Again, in the watch pocket, I like storing that Zippo lighter. In the front right pocket, I like storing the keys, again, using that P7 suspension clip. And I also carry the tools module in that front right pocket. I normally store the mini medi kit in my front left pocket and then the smartphone in my back left pocket. Although sometimes I do reverse that from time to time. And last, I store my EDC wallet in my back right pocket. That's going to do it for this video featuring my updated everyday carry or EDC. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, my EDC is constantly changing. So a few months from now, it's probably going to look completely different. But this is where it's at at this current point in time. Again, I wanted to go with more of a grab and go system where I'm able to quickly grab various modules, put them into my pockets and be on the go whether I'm wearing pants or shorts. And I know I've gone pretty fast in this video, so again, I've included a PDF document. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below. It has a list of all the items that have been covered in this video, why I carry the items, where I purchased them at, how much they cost. You can click the link. It'll take you right to that item. Makes it nice and easy. So please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section regarding this video. And again, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this updated everyday carry video. See you guys next time.